release my throttle from that top button. I'm now coasting. As soon as they come close, I'm gonna click this button which will give me 50% brakes. So as soon as I touch. You see, I just clicked it and that stops me. Back into my cab, middle mouse button, that stands me up, open the door. I'm gonna click forward here. I'm gonna come down, come over and attach my things with the left mouse button, good. And now, get back in my train. Let's close, let's close both these doors. Sit down, okay. Shift it in reverse. I confirmed I'm in reverse and release my brakes. Brakes are released and let's kick it into gear. Throttle one and we're rolling. Now because it's a shunter now, I'm gonna click a little, you know, watch from the outside because it does look pretty cool. You know, just seeing this from a distance. Oh yeah. So as you know, I mean, if you watch my previous videos, I've been striving for just a way to get a deeper immersion into various simulators, whether that be an aviation simulator, a car simulator, or a train simulator. I just feel like I learned how to drive a train, and yes, I probably didn't learn the exact way to do it, but when you're pulling levers and doing everything like, I don't know, I'm feeling like I drove it. So for me, the keyboard, I want to push this keyboard away and I want to show you how to set up a, a control paradigm with using joysticks and, and the mouse. So what I've done is I invented Simishek Toolset Pro. It's just a little program that allows to create key sequences and these key sequences are then controlled by the joystick. Now there's no API or SDK for Train Simulator World at all, meaning this is not something that connects to the game and it's really fluid. This is something that um, you have to set this up. It's not perfect, but it really does the job. I'm hoping someday they'll open it up and they'll have some kind of direct connection and I'll be the first one to program a whole entire system to really bring this out. But until then, eh, you gotta do what you can, right? Now, thanks to one of my Patreons, James, uh, he kind of asked for a feature that I didn't really have. Um, what it is is, Instead of the notches where you slide up to 20% and it converts to the notches, it's just you push up and you'll get one notch and you push down and you'll get another notch. So meaning a joystick that you have this kind of spring loaded, you know, up, down, up, down, it allows us to go one, two, three, and those are become the different notches. So I've mapped the, the uh, forward um, button as well to this joystick so I can literally walk uh, just with this button and then with the mouse. So I can walk up to the train, then I can click to open the door and I've now, with Simicheck Toolset Pro, I've mapped the middle mouse button to the E button. So I push the middle button and I'm into the train. So let me walk over to the chair. I'm now gonna push the middle button and sit down. And now it's kinda cool. I'm not using the keyboard. I have just three joysticks in front of me. I got my SciTech. I got an old wingman, which is great to keep this alive. And I got my mouse. So here we go. We're gonna run through the intro sequence. I'm just gonna turn my volume up a little bit here. Okay, handbrake, I don't have this map to a key, so I'm just gonna use my mouse. So you can push up, and you can see it's going up a notch one time, you see? So I'm going up, it moves it down, but then it stops, which means you kind of get this idea, 10%, 10%, 10%, so you keep going up, keep going up, keep going up, keep going up, and I can look over here, I'm now full service. Okay, now it's down to the main train brake. Now the train brake, because the first notch is a little longer than the other, other notch, pushes it into initial application. And then you can use the up and it does like 30%. I can actually, I've set, there's a little, there's a button at the bottom of all of the side tech. So you can kind of click it. And I made that button release the brake. So it's very easy to kind of just drag both of these levers down to the click point and then it actually releases everything. So that's nice, so you just kind of click down, you feel the click, and you know that all your brakes are being 
are released. And then you slide it back to center. And now here we are, the train is now no brakes and we're ready to go. Throttle mapped here, so up goes on. You can see here I have throttle one. If I push again, it goes 1.7. Push again, gets to two. So you can kind of get the idea that you just kind of keep going up and down. And if I push the button here, it'll go back down to nothing. So I know if I push the button, my throttle is off and that lets me coast uh, the train a little bit. Okay, so I'm coasting. And I can probably coast a little bit faster here. Okay, 2.26, 2.54, 2.82, Three, we're rolling now. So now I probably should get back to my purism ideas and get back into the uh, back into the cab. Now another one of my users on uh, YouTube actually mentioned about VR, and I used to be so against VR because you lose the kind of real cab. However, we were going back and forth on the chat, and I realized that it is possible to map a webcam. Um, into the VR scope showing the joysticks. Wow, I don't know, that would be a little crazy. Okay, so as I'm approaching this, I'm gonna now click in my local brake, 10%. Do you see 20%? If I hold it here, 30%. It doesn't go more, even though it's still up here. And you can see I'm slowing down. My throttle's already off. And you can see it comes to a stop, and I'm not even touching anything. Wow, well, I went past it. Open the door, I'm clicking to open the door, I'm clicking here to jump out, to the right, let's confirm now, you see, so now the rails will be going this way, okay, just click my middle mouse button, and I'm back in the train, close the door, middle mouse button, alright, let's, uh, we're in forward gear, let's release our brakes, and now let's click it into first notch. Now we can go a little faster than that. All right, I think I have to stop here. Did I go too far? No, nope. I think good. Middle mouse button, getting up. Now I'm going out the door, click to open the door, jump down. Oh look, I'm on the rails. Damn it. Reverse the train, climb up the ladder. Okay, let's go reverse here. I'm reverse, release my brakes. Okay, and now I'll click into gear. Alright, middle mouse button, get up. Okay, let's walk out the door. Now it should let me jump out as they're going, because I already have the brakes going. Okay, now I can jump down. Alright, let's switch it. Junction right. Right or left? No, left, I guess. There we go. Okay, sit back down. Okay, direction forward. Uh, release the brakes. And let's kick it in gear. Okay, seven miles an hour. Let's take off my throttle, so now I'm just coasting. I think now I should be able to coast right out to the location. Yeah, I think so. Oh, this is pretty cool. So I'll see if I can get the braking distance right now. So as I approach 62 yards, I'm going to hit 20% of my brakes, maybe 20 yards. Let's see if 20 yards is gonna work. And hopefully, I'm at six miles an hour. 
Okay, here you go. That's 10%, and then there's 20%. Now let's see if that stops me. Yep, so that was it. 20 yards, kind of six miles an hour. Good, okay, now I can hook onto my trains. So same thing, I'm gonna just uh, release my brakes. I'm gonna click it into throttle one. I don't want to go very fast. I always heard that uh, I kind of want three miles an hour. Release my throttle from that top button. I'm now coasting. As soon as I come close, I'm gonna click this button which will give me 50% brakes. So as soon as I touch. You see, I just clicked it and that stops me. Back into my cab, middle mouse button. That stands me up, open the door. I'm gonna click forward here. I'm gonna come down. Come over and attach my things with the left mouse button. Good. And now, get back in my train. Let's close, let's close both these doors. Sit down. Okay. Shift it in reverse. I confirmed I'm in reverse. And release my brakes. Brakes are released. And let's kick it into gear. Throttle one. And we're rolling. Nice quote unquote beautiful day, nice misty. Scenery looks good though. Okay, I'm gonna go a little faster. I'm allowed to go up to 10 miles an hour here, so I'll go a little faster. Here, through bottle 2.53. And we're rolling. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I need to get on to Okay, there's my 10 miles an hour, so I'm just going to click the button, and you can see this takes my throttle all the way down to zero. I don't have to touch anything. So it's just very intuitive that you know you're coasting now. So you click the button, you're coasting. And in real life, you would do the same thing. You would just slide the throttle down. So because the notches are hard to come by, and the way I've set this up, at least I kind of found a workaround. Okay, so I need to go by this switch, and then I'm going to get out and switch it. So same thing with the brakes. So I'll look for, I'll go from the back here. I'll pretend I'm hanging on. <laughs> so let's hit some train brakes. So click to do initial application. Train brake initial application. Now I can click up. It gives me 30% brake and that should stop the train. Okay, middle mouse button, open the door. I should be able to jump out, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna run back and open up that switch, or switch that switch. <laughs> I don't think it's good to stand on the track. I think it's a little dangerous. So back over here. Junction right, junction left. Yeah, confirm going there. So now let's run back to the train. All right, middle mouse button so I can climb up the ladder. Middle mouse button, I'm up here. Click to close the door. Click middle to sit down. And I need to switch into forward direction. I'm forward now. And um, that's it, release the brakes. You can see I slid down both things, so both brakes are released now. It's really cool, there's little, there's actually switches there, release. And now click, throttle one. I'm gonna click again. 1.72 you can see I'm holding it but it doesn't go any higher which is great so in my mind I've pushed twice so I know I kind of did two indentations click it again I'm up to th uh, throttle two now so in three clicks of this joystick you get up to throttle two so you can kind of map it out what you're doing you know um, yeah I'm allowed to go to 10 miles an hour so I'm gonna click here I'm gonna keep going up almost at notch throttle three there we go, eight miles an hour. I'll click the button and now it takes the throttle down to zero. You can see and now we're coasting, which is great. I probably need throttle one now because it's dropping speed a lot. So this is SimiCheck Toolset Pro. It'll show you the re recent key sequences you did here. You can click up and down to go through the different joysticks that exist on your computer. And then, for example, right now, two, you can see when I click a button, um, you can see button one uh, appears. So you know that this is the joystick two. And then to make any modifications, you just click the config button. This will automatically open up 
uh, within any spreadsheet program that's attached to your computer. I like LibreOffice, it works really well for CSV files. And then you have your entire script here. So you can see right now I'm using the Profile Tees Valley Shunter. So you go to the bottom and these are all the scripts here. So you, you have control over all this and you can modify this if you'd like. You just have to map it to the set to the joystick that you have on your computer with the axis. So if you don't want to use this joystick setup, no problem. You can just uh, figure out what joystick you're using, figure out what axis you're using, and then just reassign them. And you have all my scripts here. So that's it. Come check it out. Uh, download it from my website, simicheck.com, and uh, just click on software and then Toolset Pro. And um, yeah, any questions, please reach out though. I'm just curious how you're using this software and if there's any other functionality I can build into the software. Nothing's better than the end of the week. You just wanna meditate a little and sit in the diesel engine and push around cars. All right, thanks for watching.